1946 was a great year for the snack food industry. A young James Stauffer Herr bought a potato chip business in Lancaster, PA, and his career was off and running. The key to his enterprise is found in Psalm 37. Delight thyself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. It was a long road from Willow Street, PA, where J.S. began his life on the family farm. Miriam Hershey was also born into a farm family. She was working for Samuel Wenger, an attorney in Lancaster, when she met Jim. Mim remembers thinking that Jim was a nice looking guy, and that Jim and Mim sounded kind of neat. Ever the romantic, on one day, Jim took Mim to Baltimore to buy 30 sacks of potatoes. The attraction was there from the start. Jim proposed in September 1946, and five months later, they were married. Back then, their day started at 4 a.m., and they often worked until 11 p.m., and then did it all again the next day. After the factory in West Willow, PA, was destroyed by fire in 1951, the Hers looked for a new location. With the help of family and friends, they chose a site in Nottingham and rebuilt, adding an automatic cooker to help speed up the chip-making process. Through it all, the Her philosophy of quality products, honesty, and dependable service steered the company into the second half of the 20th century. Americans were quickly falling in love with a new medium called television, which has become a national pastime. Hers made the chips to help folks enjoy a night of watching their favorite shows. Crispy snacks and TV were a natural pair, and Hers was on its way. I wanted to say a special hello to Jim Her. He's a nice man. The Her family grew, and so did the company. During 1963, hers doubled in size by building a 21,000 square foot production facility behind the house. That same year, the employee profit sharing plan was started. The employees would grow from one part-timer to over 1,000 happy people by 1990. After careful consideration, flavors were added, the first being barbecue. Hers then expanded with cheese curls, popcorn, pretzels, corn and tortilla chips, and onion rings. Now that they were making much more than crunchy potato chips, Hers Potato Chips became Her Foods Incorporated. JS has always valued customer relationships. This was exemplified as the business continued to expand with the addition of sales branches and warehouses throughout Pennsylvania and its neighboring states. The company now operated 500 sales routes that helped the Hearst customers snack their way to fun on the run. Over the years, the second and third generation have taken on important roles alongside the many other Her associates. The visitor center was constructed in 1989, and the new corporate office was finished in 1990. To handle waste disposal in an innovative and environmentally conscious way, Land was purchased just down the road from the plant, and with the help of a young couple, the Her Angus Farm was born. Hers has created many events for its employees and the public. Always willing to lend a hand to charitable organizations and those in need, Hers continues to be a strong and respected partner in the community. As the chairman of the National Federation of Independent Businesses, J.S. accepted the call from Washington and on December 30th, 1991, departed on a trip around the Pacific Rim with President George H.W. Bush to encourage trade and boost the U.S. economy. Built on the solid foundation created by Jim and Mim Her, Her Foods continues to thrive and prosper. Congratulations, hers, on 65 wonderful years. And thanks, Jim and Mim, for your many years of vision, leadership, inspiration, and support. <laughs>